Hi, I'm Steve Rampey, head coach at Blue Valley High School in Overland Park, Kansas. In this video, we're going to focus on utilizing and inserting a fullback into our offense. Normally, we're a spread shotgun team with four wide receivers, a tight end, three wide receiver sets normally. But every once in a while, and many programs out there have fullback players. And this is an opportunity to get them involved in our offense. They will, we will insert them for our B receiver and run many, many traditional I formations except we're always in a pistol and always in a shotgun. It's given us great advantage to have leverage with fullbacks leading on plays, to hand the ball to fullbacks on trap schemes, to inside zone with the fullback, and also to let them lead on options. And also it's a, it's a pretty way to chore, shore up our pass protections uh, by putting another running back in the, in the, in the game. Uh, two back offense out of the pistol. first play in our two-back pistol offense we want to talk about is zone read to the fullback. Because in the past we've been an offset gun team, that alignment and that movement by our fullback to mesh with the quarterback is not something that unusual for our kids. So let's look at inside zone read with the fullback being the, the dive back. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're in a right over alignment where we say right to move our tight end to the right side, but we put an over call to bring our fullback back to the split side. It's going to be zone blocking up front like we've talked about in previous videos. The tackle and the tight end are going to zone block the six technique to the edge player. The center and the right guard are going to zone block, block the three technique to the stack linebacker. <clears throat> Excuse me, the backside guard and the backside tackle are going to zone block the shade to the backside stack. We've covered zone blocking at great depth in other videos, but that's the basic concept of how we would block inside zone. Okay, the end man on the line of scrimmage is going to be taken care of by our quarterback as a chase defender. The fullback will take one drop step inside, trying to gain a little depth. His alignment is on the inside leg of the offensive tackle to the back side. <clears throat> he is one half yard deeper than our quarterback, so his alignment is right around five yards. He's going to take a drop step with his inside foot, take a crossover step, and on his third step, he should be in a position to mesh, and it's his responsibility to align his stomach up on the ball. He then wants to get on a path that attacks the play side A gap. His read as an as a inside zone runner is to read the shade defender. If he flows and they wash him across the play, then we want the fullback to have the ability to jump cut behind him. If they get him walled off, then as a fullback and the zone runner, he can just stick his nose in there and get what he can. The quarterback will open up, drop his play side foot, and bring his opposite foot up so that he's almost in a perpendicular position, not quite. Extend the ball to his backside hip as the fullback meshes with him to ride to the front all the time, reading the chase defender. If the chase defender chases the fullback, then he'll pull the ball and get outside. Normally in our zone read schemes, we bubble, release, and stalk with our two outside receivers. Because we have two running backs in the backfield, their rules now become crack, and our A-back will become the pitch back. So our inside receiver will crack to the inside linebacker. If he's involved and blocked by the backside tackle or is involved in flow, then he will climb to the free safety. The outside receiver is going to stalk the corner. So as the quarterback reads the chase defender, if he in fact chases, the next read he has is the invert. 